Let's talk about Pacific Cycle for a minute. If you don't know what Pacific Cycle is, then you don't own a Schwinn or a Mongoose bike. Because down on the down tube, there's a sticker that says Pacific Cycle, and it gives warranty information, a number to call, if you need any parts or service. And I want to mention there is this perception that if you own a big box bike, that you can't get parts, you can't get warranty service for it. If it's a Pacific Cycle brand, again, Mongoose and Schwinn being among those, then you really don't have anything to worry about. They have a lifetime warranty on their frames, and they're really good about backing up what they sell, so much so that the local bike shop has even bragged that Pacific Cycle, they can get parts from easier than they can some of the top-tier brands. Anytime anyone brings in a bike, they just call them, give the serial number, and they get the parts pretty quick. And that's what this is. I didn't even know I was receiving this. Matter of fact, I want to look here on this date. You'll see it's 316. And I remembered then when I saw that date, there was a fork that had a mangled headset bearing. And if you have a 2020 model Schwinn Axum or one of the other 2020 models, you'll know that a few of them shipped with mangled headset bearings. This being the worst example, that's why I held on to this bearing. This a fork from an Axum. It looks like they have resolved that issue because not only have I not had it on my last few Schwinn bikes, even these new Mongoose bikes, this is a fork off either the new Ardor or the new Ledge. See this bearing in perfect shape. And the new Women's Aluminum Comp took the fork off that, the bearing on that in perfect shape. Here is one of the bearings I'm talking about, and that's why it took so long to get this because this is an oddball bearing. I've only found one of these in the wild, and it was from the United Kingdom, and it was over $50. They told me when I said I needed this that that was an item that was on back order, and because of the, you know, the parts situation, I'll just say that we're in right now, with parts for everything, and bikes even worse than bad. But 316, they told me it would be a while. It's a little over three months later. And now I got this. Not just a bearing, they sent the entire kit, and that's happened before. One of the few times I've had to file a warranty claim for parts was on the XR Pro. I lost a screw, or a, a bolt, out of the back pivot system for that rear suspension, and they sent me an entire kit. All the pivots, bushings, and all that. And now, I just need this one bearing they send me the entire headset kit. And this has got it all. The lower headset cup with a new bearing in there. And look at this. I got one of those crown races. You know, that's a specific setup. The straight steerer adapted for this tapered big opening for a 1.5 fork. I have one of those now. So... I, and, oh, there we go. And even the seal for it. So I can use any straight steerer that I want without having to try to work off that crown race. Very difficult to get off. It's like these things are almost welded on. I mean, not literally, but very hard to get off. But I'm making this video just to show you that you can throw parts everywhere. And look at that. Even a star nut comes with this kit. I mean, everything. Top down. An entire kit just for this one bearing. But they stand behind their stuff. And that is important. So I just wanted to point that out. Because yay, Schwinn and Mongoose. And Pacific Cycle, thank you so much for standing behind your stuff. Just note that sometimes, especially right now with part shortages, it might take a little while to get things. But if you need the bearing... Oh, so you better show the part number. If you need that bearing kit, HS868 looks like is the information that you need. So you can call Schwinn or Mongoose Support if you've been looking for that bearing, because it looks like they have some in stock. Thanks so much for watching Kev Reviews. I hope you subscribe if you haven't already, and that you have that notification bell active. And don't forget, I do more bike stuff on my Kev Central channel. Most of the people that are here already know about Kev Central, but if you don't, go check that out. Lots of bike stuff. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.